I and IS level mathematics. Lesson 33, trigonometry part 5. Looking at solving trigonometric equations. So, solve the equation for values of theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees to one decimal place. So the first thing to spot is we're actually in degree mode. So we need to make sure our calculator is in degree mode. So let's have a look at that. There's a little D down there, but you can always check by pressing the mode button and make sure it's in degree mode. So if sine theta is 0.655, then theta itself will be the inverse sine of 0.655. Inverse sine 0.655 and to one decimal place that's 40.9 degrees. So theta is 40.9 degrees. But that's only one of two possible answers. So as we've said before, we can either do it by learning some formulas or just by producing a quick sketch of the graph required, in this case it's a sine graph. Now this is naught and this is 80 degrees and this is 360 degrees. 40 degrees or 40.9 degrees is about there. And looking at the symmetry of the graph, this here must be another angle with exactly the same sine value of 0.655 and looking at the symmetry of the graph that value is representing 40.9 so that is representing 40.9 so the angle I'm after is 180 minus 40.9 and that works out at 139.1 degrees so there's two values for theta one that the calculator gave me and the other one I worked out by doing a little sketch of the graph. Solve the equation for values of theta between 0 and 360 degrees. So inverse cosine both sides, the inverse cosine of cosine theta is theta itself and the inverse cosine of this value will give us the answer to what theta is. Now, there are several ways you could type this into the calculator. I'm going to do inverse cosine, open brackets, 1 divided by the square root of 2, close brackets, equals, and I get 45 degrees. In fact, this is something I should recognise, but we'll come back to that. But that's only one possible answer. To find the other possible answer, we draw a sketch and our sketches of the cosine curve and that will do nicely that's 360 degrees 180 degrees 90 and 270 we're talking 45 degrees which is there therefore the angle here will have exactly the same cosine value of 1 over root of 2. Again, looking at the symmetry of the graph, this is 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees back from 360. So if we work that out, we get that theta is an angle of 315 degrees. And of course we've got theta from the calculator of 45 degrees. Solve for values of theta between 0 and 360 degrees. Tangent. So for inverse tangent of tangent theta, we get theta. So if we inverse tangent of the 78.2, we'll get the value of theta in degrees. Still in degree mode. I have to keep thinking about that just to make sure. Inverse tangent 78.2 equals and we get an angle of 
0.3 degrees to one decimal place. But what other possible answers can there be? Well, we need a quick sketch of the tangent graph. And to do that, we need to draw our asymptotes. Now this is how we would, I'd do it in the exam. I wouldn't use a ruler. I'd just see how quick I can get it done. that produces a suitable graph I can use to answer the question. So this is a graph of y equals tangent of theta. 89 degrees is very nearly there. Therefore, the angle there will have exactly the same value of 78.2. Looking at the symmetry of the graph, I would say that this is representing 89.3 and so is this. Therefore if we go 180 add on the 89.3 we will have the other answer to the question. That theta can equal 89.3 and 269.3 because the tangent of both of these angles is 78.2. Right, now we've got something looking a bit more like an equation. And we approach it in the way we normally approach equations. Let's subtract 4 from both sides. So if you subtract 4 from that side, that's what we get. If we subtract 4 from that side, that's what we get. Now let's divide both sides by 3. If I divide the left hand side by 3, that's what I get. If I divide the right hand side by 3, that's what I get. Now I do the same thing to both sides, I inverse sign both sides. And if I inverse sign this side, I get theta. And if I inverse sign that side, well I get one of the answers between the range I've been asked to find. So, inverse sign. 0.25 equals, and that gives me 14.5 to one decimal place degrees. Now to find the other value, we're working with sine, therefore we need the sine graph. So we draw the sine graph. Not the best sine graph I've drawn, but it will do. It goes up to plus one, it goes down to minus one. 14 is about there. So in other words, if I go across here, then there is my other value for theta. Looking at the symmetry, that is representing 14.5 degrees, so that's representing 14.5 degrees, so it's 180, go back 14.5 degrees. And that gives us 165 degrees. So there's our two values for theta. When, in this equation, it comes to 4.75. Now let's have a look at it again, but with a different possible range for our values. So to start with, let's use the calculator. Inverse sine of both sides. If we inverse sine, sine theta, we get whatever theta is, so we need to inverse sine the other side, and the inverse sine of negative, I haven't done it, inverse sine of, that's better, negative 0.376 equals, and that gives us an answer of minus 22.1 degrees to one decimal place. So let's have a look at that on the graph, but this time our graph is going from minus 180 to plus 180 as in the range we've been asked to solve it for. So our sine graph actually looks like this. And then we carry on like that. Minus 22.1 is about there. Therefore, this angle here 
will have exactly the same value. So let's think about that. 